What's going on, producer gang, my YouTube family? I know it's been forever since I've made like content content uh, for the channel, aside from like demos and industry kits packs and stuff like that. Uh, it's been a while since I've just made content for the channel, uh, but that's gonna change now. So I'm gonna be making all different kinds of content for the channel, and one of the things is gonna be producer gems. I got a good one for you guys today, and that is how to reach out to producers to get your samples to them and artists to get your beats to them. The right way to do it, the wrong ways to do it, things you want to avoid doing and things that are more acceptable. So let's just dive right in. So first off, the most basic thing is to try to make it organic when you contact the person. Meaning, remind yourself how many people is blowing this person up trying to contact them in the world. It's a lot. So instead of like jumping in there and the first thing you've ever said to them is, yo, do you got a sample email? Yo, I'm trying to, I want to get some beats to you. How can I get some beats to you? Collab bro, collab bro, collab bro. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking nobody for trying and we're all I, I know how it is, but that's why I'm here. I'm going to just try to teach you how to do this a little bit better and get you a little bit more success with that. Now, what you want to do instead is make it more organic, meaning, like I said, don't make the first thing you've said to them be something like that. Be in their community, follow them, reply to their stories on some regular like, oh, that's dope. You know, you know, regular stuff. If they stream, go into their community and their live streams. Just be around for a while. Say say regular things like, oh, that's dope or whatever. Like here, only a little, a little bit like regular talk, not flooding it, but just little stuff. If you reply to stories or whatever. And then after like a couple weeks or something, then you can throw in like, hey, you know, I've always wanted to get some samples over to you. Do you got a, a email or anything I could send to or vice versa with beats or, yo, I've been working on this beat and I feel like you'd be perfect for it. But after you know, you've said some other things and a little bit of time has gone by. Now, don't get me wrong. You can't have success with that's the first and only thing you've said, especially if you've already got like a name or something. But even then, even in my shoes, I found better success being where you make it more organic and it's just like less uh, spammy, you know, and it just feels like you're actually caring and wanting to see what's up. It's not just straight. Hey, can I get some beats to you? I appreciate that more when people do that to me. And I know that artists and other producers appreciate that too. Gym number two, if you get somebody's contact email, do not just go sending them stuff and you haven't hit them up and said, Hey, I got stuff on the way or Hey, you know, you haven't got the contact from them. Sometimes that will work. Don't get me wrong. You might stumble across a major artist email or something or a producer, you know, grabbing emails around. And maybe you never know. Sometimes there has been cases where they're just opening up emails. Next gym is a big one. Now, when it comes to say you're emailing some stuff or sending some stuff, either way, first, let's say don't flood them. Don't try to send 20 million files, uh, thousands of tons and tons of emails and stuff like that. Only send at least a few few things, you know, maybe like five. If you're sending samples, maybe like 10 samples or however much in a pack that can fit into like one or two emails attached as an MP3. Same with beats, maybe one or two emails that are that can be attached with like, you know, two to three MP3s usually can attach to like a Google uh, email anyway. Um, but and then only like up to two emails like back to back. And then you wait like a week or, or more to send more. You don't want to be flooding them every single day or all day with every single thing that you make. You will annoy people and then they will no longer open up your stuff. Next up, another gym that kind of ties into that as well. When you do send stuff, don't let it be um, like a Google Drive upload or a Dropbox link or any download links. Again, unless you know this person and you've told them or I'm gonna send you a Dropbox or something like that. But nine times out of 10, what you really wanna do is just make them MP3 attachments. It's simple, you can just click them, play them, you don't like them, you move on. Here's another one that I feel like a lot of people don't think about. And that's like, say you wanna collab with somebody like Southside, TM88 or whoever, and you wanna get samples to them. Yeah, you could reach out, but at the level that they're at, it's a very small chance they're gonna see that that message, uh, let alone be able to respond to it. But think about their labels, Crash Dummy, uh, 808 Mafia, there's a lot of other producers on there. So if you hit up somebody like say on Crash Dummy um, and was like, yo, you know, wanted to see if I could get some samples or over to you or whatnot, again, organically though, over time, you're gonna have a better success than trying to hit up the big dog himself, you know, like TM88. Here's another one, it should go without saying this, but there is a big problem in the producer community with this. If somebody gives you their contact information, email, phone, anything, do not share that with anybody because if it ever gets back to the person on who shared it, 
You'll never in your that that you just ruin that relationship. And for two, why would you do that anyway? Because that just doesn't even make sense. Another gem I would give you guys is don't always only see and shoot for the very top. Because whoever's on the very top, there's always somebody, you know, some steps below that's next to be at that very top. So you want to keep your eyes open for who's up next, you know, who's got heat. And don't only focus on who you think is up next, though, just because of the clout stuff either. I'll tell you that right off. Don't forget all that. If it's an artist that you really like and they're really hard and they really got it and they're really pushing, you might want to work with them. Same as a producers. If you see some producers killing it and they're like kind of rising up, you know, a little bit and they're, they're really trying or really doing their thing, you might want to see what's up with them. It would be worth uh, your time and their time to get some work in if both of you are serious. Here's a big gem too, and this is for both when you're sending beats to a, an artist or samples to a producer. Make sure you know what type of sound and what type of feel that producer usually is around that world they're, they're working on and the artist as well. What's their sound? Obviously, you know, that's a go without saying, but uh, it, it happens a lot more than you would think. I even used to do that back in the day. I'd be sending, uh, you know, artists all different kinds of genres and all. Because I'm like, shit, they might want to switch it up or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that 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 doesn't work a lot of the times. Unless they ask for like, yo, I'm really looking for this different sound or something like that. Then give them what you know they're going to like. It could be your sound. It doesn't have to be like tight beats and nothing like that. But just make sure it's that type of feel that that producer or artist is used to working on all right so that's gonna be it for this producer gems session we'll probably make like part twos and part threes of this same subject because there's so many things that you can do uh and want to stay away from doing but this will be the first one hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys did get any type of knowledge from this or any type of gems please drop a like on this video drop a comment show some so some uh, show, show some community love and i'll see you guys on the next episode okay